YouTube! How the fuck you doing, guys? It is Zano, coming at you guys again for the first time in a long time, guys. I know I have been MIA forever now, and I am so sorry for this. Uh, I have not stopped playing completely. I have just had to take a slight break from YouTube and everything, as I do have a lot going on right now. But, uh, a little bit of, um dissatisfying news I injured my hand pretty badly last Thursday so until I can recover I'm gonna be pretty much just sitting relaxing not working not doing anything for a few weeks so in that time I'm gonna try and bring you guys as much class of the Lords 2 content as I can because this is probably gonna be one of the only things I can actually play seems I only have one hand right now but uh yeah, first, let's get right into the video today, guys. I'm just going to be going through my usual stuff, checking over what's new, what maybe I haven't talked about in previous videos, and just going to, yeah, update you guys on uh, everything that's happened. Let's get right into it. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, the homecoming. Uh, let's see. It's going to let us collect rewards, it looks like. Let's sign in. I have to collect six sign-in rewards, and then I can win those, it looks like. Uh, Coffers Keepers has been beauty a few days. I was gone for, oh, I did, it, had, it felt like two weeks. Maybe it has been two weeks. I guess it's been almost a week since I injured my hand, so maybe it has been two weeks since I played. Anyway, hopefully uh, the guild I man hasn't been too angry about me uh, being absent. Uh, continent rank still decent. Uh, let's get my statues back built. Go ahead and claim everything out of my uh, mailbox and everything. There we go. I'll worry about this in a second. Oh no. Did they? Oh no. No, oh, I'm still here. Alright, cool worried for a second now what one thing I did notice that I don't like is now instead of being able to continuously hire your free heroes you have to click the bottom left corner come up here to bottom top right click skip and then the okay is directly in the middle and that's not what I have a problem with but if you're trying to spam the button and you accidentally hit it too many times you could click that 450 spend and hire your three heroes Granted, you won't have to worry about it if it is the watch video. If not, then you're probably not gonna have quite as much luck. Um, just a second. Sorry, guys. Had to make sure that was still recording. I didn't know if the ad would uh, mess that up or not. But yeah, let's get these out of the way real quick. Now you do not actually have to tap the skip button up there in the top right for it to skip over but you do have to hit the ok directly for it, you to uh, bypass past the ok and again if the quality is a little bit bad for my voice this time guys I'm sorry I am just using my regular mic on my phone uh, I don't have my free hands I only have the one hand so it's hard for me to set up uh, my headset or my mic or anything but I will work on getting that done in the future for uh, next video, definitely. Uh, all right, so next uh, we can come in here, just get this daily hero out of the way. Uh, come back in here. That's the uh, watch an ad. Come back here. Get my uh, battle statue out of the way. that come into the campaign class go ahead and set this off finish this get the battle royale out of the way gotta reset huh alright looks like uh, my bag's full Done and over with. Um, go back 
that. Now, I have evolved heroes, guys. Uh, so, and gotten started on the enlightenment. So, I'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, let me get this uh, leveling out of the way. Get all these eggs and stuff out of my bag. Uh, but basically, what you want to do is when you upgrade all the way to the end here at Pisces, uh, you're going to be coming back and you're going to click the little button under it, which is for enlightenment, right? And basically, each hero has 35 levels of enlightenment. And each level gives you a different attack boost, defense boost, it all depends. Each thing gives you a different boost, but everything goes up slightly with each different level. Each level also has its own set of challenges that you need and resources you need to collect and spend in order to proceed to the next. So currently my Pangoli is on level 12, and to pass level 12, I have to have five ancient spirits to give, which I've already done, 3,000 mutagen, which is done, 1,600 Pangoli shards. The shards will be specific to whatever hero you're evolving, obviously. Uh, and then XP, which is the same principle as leveling up a hero or something like that. And you have to just basically come in here, hit the plus button, and then give it eggs or scrap heroes, whatever you have. But basically, the lower the level, the easier it's going to be. Because if, you, if I was came down here to level zero, uh, it's not really telling me. It's not going to tell me what I have to do. But if I come in here, my uh, my Sharon is a little bit lower, so it gives you a better idea on how much easier this will be. It only takes 3,000 Eugen, three ancient spirits, and then the 1,200 shards. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, level 1 is super simple, it's just like one ancient spirit or something like that, nothing too crazy, but by the time you actually get your first evolution on a hero, you should definitely have more than enough ancient spirits uh, to do what you need to do, because they just give them away like candy in this game. Uh, being that is because you do need quite a few of them to actually enlighten your heroes all the way. But I digress. Now we're gonna come in here. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can participate in these if you like. You don't have to. Uh, some people choose to. Uh, it is basically for just uh, the chance of chest. So if you're purchasing gems and stuff, you could pay attention to this. But. Uh, also, guys, I do have a bit of cool news, something I have discovered I will get into in a few minutes. Uh, how I said in the past that I am a strictly um, non-pay-to-win player. Well, I'm going to explain to you guys a way that you guys can get free money in your Google Wallet just by simply answering a few questions about stores or something you might go to. Now, this is not an endorsement. This is nothing like that. I'm not sponsored by this app. I'm just simply giving it to you guys to show you, uh, give you a free way to make money and spend some extra cash on your games you might not want to spend your hard-earned cash in real life on. Uh, currently, I have almost $30 in my uh, Google Wallet, and uh, I have accrued this. It's called Google Opinions. Uh, I will get the exact name of the app uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but it's Google Opinions on the App Store. I'm pretty sure it's only on Android devices, obviously. Uh, but you go into it, you download it, and it keeps track of where you go. Say you go to a grocery store or a pharmacy, something like that. Uh, pretty much as soon as you leave, you're going to get a little notification uh, asking you to click a survey. The surveys are almost never long, uh, like one question to eight questions at the maximum. And then it will usually ask you to take a photo of your receipt. Uh, you don't actually have to take a photo of the receipt. Uh, it might seem a little sly or something, but... Uh, if you don't actually have the receipt on hand, you can take a picture of whatever you want. It literally doesn't matter. It'll still give you some sort of currency, whether it be ten cent or a uh, dollar. It could be anywhere between. It's I, I haven't had it be over a dollar yet, but a couple times it has been like eighty-five, ninety cent a dollar. But it does add up because if you do travel frequently like I do, you can get up to three, four surveys a day, and that could equal out to two to three dollars every day. So. 
if you play games like I do and you don't like spending your real earn, hard earned cash on it, then this is a great way to earn a little bit of extra cash and spend, spend it on those things that you really want. But now I'm just going to come in here and uh, finish all these little implements that I have to do. Go ahead and get my daily spin out of the way. Um, what is this? My Despo's Depository. That's right. So I'll choose... I'll do this later. I'll talk about this in a second, guys. That's a whole other challenge level that uh, I'll explain to you guys. Let me just get everything else out of the way first. Um, now, one big thing that I do have coming, I know I told you guys I had a 20,000 gem spending video coming in the past, but I, uh, I had some kind of error or something after spending the gems and I deleted the video, so I was super heartbroken about that, and I know a few of you guys were too, but I'm going to bring myself back by having a bigger spending video. Obviously, if you look at my gems right now, I have almost 45,000. So I'm going to save up as much as I can until I can get the um, Trevi Fountain to give me the blessing to get 10 epic heroes on either my 10th or 20th 10 times higher. So once I can get that, I'm going to spend all my gems there and hopefully get 10 solid awesome heroes all in one. So let's see what I get. And today I did not get any blessing. Uh, uh, we'll mute the, we'll mute the sound on that. Uh, and as far as I feel about the ad system, how they put that in for speed up times and you know free three times hero hires, it is kind of cool that it's optional. They didn't force it down our throats by us having to watch it unless you, you know, purchase the 450 gems, which I can't say is ethical. But, either way, it's an alright, uh, it's an alright setting, if I can say. I'm not a huge fan of the ad system, but I don't really think anybody is. But, if we're getting free stuff for 30 seconds of views, then I guess it's whatever. So I'm going to come back in here, see if my bag is full, it is not. Uh, now I just actually recently finished upgrading all my defenses and upgraded my town hall again. So now I'm just going back around my base and uh, basically upgrading everything again. Uh, can't upgrade the gold balls until I upgrade my town hall once more. But then I have the stuff over here in this corner that I just built that I'm trying to uh, catch up with everything else before I actually integrate it into the, uh, the town. So I'll call it a town, my base, I don't know, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I'm going to try to do speed up scrolls, so none of them are worth using for a full day though. So. Oh well, uh, what to do next? Uh, alright, so... I guess what I'll do next is just finish off my daily stuff and then I'll go into the Despo's Depository and talk about that. How's that sound, guys? Get my auto raid out of the way. Alright. There we go. I'm not going to make you guys watch another video. I was just a kind of a demonstration thing to get that out of the way. Um, but yeah. Um, what else comes on here? Get, uh, check out my hero trials. It's almost Sunday, so I probably should uh, go ahead and get these out of the way. I won't do that now, but tomorrow. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but next video. Whenever next video comes, guys. For sure, for sure. Always make sure you come in here and just uh, at least challenge the bosses so you can get the shards. Uh, especially if it is the double shards like it is right now. And if you guys have uh, have any extra potions or anything so you can get extra energy. Um, go ahead and use those for the, the double standard as well. Uh, because I don't know if a lot of you know this, but if you have... Uh, 
built up a good amount of potions. Uh, I don't have too many right now, but you can go over your cap. Say your uh, your energy cap is at like 500 or whatever. You can have uh, like 5,000 out of that 500. So uh, here, maybe I can demonstrate. Let me use all my potions real quick. See that's 72, 240, and then 120 on top of 300. I did have max. I missed the max button. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right. So now we're gonna come back in here, go back to El Dorado, and now as you can see, I'm at 828 out of 240. So it does not matter what your max limit is. You can go over that as high as you want. You just have to make sure that you bring that balance back down to below your stock number before the time resets for the next day. So if you decide to do this at like uh, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, you got to spin those points really quick. Otherwise, it's going to just reset. that so basically what I do what I like to do is come into my forge uh, go to the bottom look at my weakest whatever it is and then uh, come in here and try and get the, the objects for that this should only take one to be honest unless I'm really unlucky which I guess I am um, okay I'm um, still no man I'm really unlucky today huh Jesus there we go. All right. Okay, come down to this one here. Go ahead and get this out of the way. I usually do it about five or six times when I'm just starting up. And then uh, I'll come back and look at my progress. Yeah, that brought me about halfway. Alright, all out of energy. So I'm going to do the singles. Still not there, still not there. So go ahead and finish this off with the singles. Because I don't think I'm gonna get enough to uh, actually do anything with this one. Nope. Oh wow, I, I didn't get anything. Man, this one's uh, this one's hard to find things for, huh? All right, so let's get that out of the way. See, that is that ad, is it not? Yes, it is. Go ahead and collect this. All right, guys, so uh, not going to make the video stretch too much longer. I just wanted to update you guys, let you know I am back. I am going to be bringing you more content, and I'm going to be updating you on everything that Clash of Lords and IGG has been updating this game with. So let's go ahead and go into the Despo's Depository, and this will be the last thing I talk about for today until I can get my, uh, my Trevi Fountain to give me that nice little blessing to bring you guys that wonderful video. So, here, basically, on the top, your countdown is when these challenges will reset, and then you pick somebody in here you would like to challenge. So, doesn't look like these are going to be too hard right off the bat, so you select the one you want to challenge, hit challenge, you're going to come in here, and this is going to show you where all of your troops are where all of your defenses are you can choose to move things around if you wish uh, typically things are usually set up in the best manner anyway so uh, this is their base so you're gonna choose a spot to come down and destroy uh, I'm doing on the opposite side of that wall right here in this little weak opening that they got going over here so good made quick work of that all right and now as you uh, as you get wins you'll be faced with progressively harder uh, challengers. So now I have another set to choose from, 
and then you can come down and choose the records. Uh, you have to actually participate in Ascension War for you to be able to check that though. So you'll have to uh, find out where to uh, start that. Um, come back in there. Sorry, I didn't need to exit. But uh, I'll challenge one more just to give you guys an idea on how this goes. And uh, then I think I'll end my video for today. Get this edited, get this uploaded for you guys. Uh, this definitely is a better setup than the last. But uh, we will still get our uh, funds worth. Oh, these are a lot stronger. Got to focus heavily on the healing for this one. My guys aren't going to make it out otherwise. There we go, I got my two stars though, that's what matters. I think it was the heroes that were mainly messing my guys up. Now that they're out of the way, the defenses aren't anything for me to deal with. They're not very high level defenses anyway. Boom. There we go. Alright guys, it feels great to be back, even though it doesn't really feel great to have a messed up hand. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I am back. And as always, have a great fucking time, guys. Stay strong and game on. Till next time, bros. Peace out.